A good news for those looking to beat the heat this summer. Well, the Tri-State Pool is making a comeback after first the pandemic shut down and now a struggle to find lifeguards. Eyewitness News' Jill Wilberman joins us with more on how the city made some important changes to make a splash this summer. The Henderson Parks Department tells me they've been trying to recruit lifeguards since January. But after raising the 850 hourly pay rate and lowering the 16-year-old age requirement, they started seeing applicant number, numbers climb. We were there as those applicants started their lifeguard training tonight. We, we were desperate for lifeguards so that we could open. Atkinson Pool almost wasn't able to open again this year, but the Henderson Parks director said once they changed the job description last month, the applicants more than tripled. The city commission was good enough to raise the pay again for a second time this year to $10 per hour for the starting pay for lifeguard. So a combination of the raise in starting pay and the lowering of the minimum age uh, really helped us get a lot of applications in, a lot of applicants to interview. I was thrilled that we got as many as we did, but it was it was it was scary for the well the first part of the year. They lower the age requirement one year to 15. Those 15 year olds making up a majority of the trainees today. 15 is the minimum age for for the American Red Cross, and if they say that it's that they feel it's okay for someone to become a lifeguard, then it's it's okay. I have no problem with it at all. Um, I can train train them to be lifeguards. We had to do a 12 lab uh, swim, freestyle, and then breaststroke, then whatever stroke you want to do, and then pick up the tip gun break so far. 16-year-old Couch says he realizes the job is a big responsibility, but felt compelled to step up and help out. Just help out the community. I mean, it's some small gesture that can help out the community and you get paid for it, so it's a win-win. Well, it's, it's, I guess it's a weight off my shoulders. It was really troubling that we weren't going to be able to open, um, especially since we felt like we did everything that we possibly could to get those guards. We just did not have the staff, and we weren't going to open that pool in an unsafe condition. We weren't going to try to run it understaffed. Lifeguard training costs will be covered for those who work through the end of the summer season. And while Atkinson Pool couldn't be open in time for Memorial Day weekend, they will open by the end of the month. All right. Thanks a lot, Joe Wilderman.